this place is called uh, Madhara. Is it not Madhara? Mulango. This is Mulango, guys. Uh, you can see how Mulango looks like. And, uh, maybe you've always been hearing about Mulango, Mulango, Mulango. That's how Mulango looks like. You can see it's a slummy area. It's a slummy area. But one thing I love about Kenya is that uh, look at look at uh, the roads here. This road has just been Mepita to Kumurango and it's a very good road. It's a shortcut to town. So if you don't want to go to follow the main road, you can just especially those who are going to Australia, it is one of the best uh, roads that you can pass. I don't know why my tattoos don't like using this road. Look guys, in caves, the place is so, so dirty. But um So people have not started coming to the market. That is Kwanza Kwanza. It's still honey morning. It's uh, nine. By the way, nine is nine in Mapema. Nine is late, by the way. I don't know why people have not started doing their businesses. You've seen that one person is growing there. So uh, I think in Mur this area, Morango, there is a lot of problems of water. That is why in front of me, you can see this Mitung is so I think there is a problem with the water here on Chokora those are just street boys you've seen there so like I say you know I'm now almost tired by the way it's one of the best ones that I like using because there's no huge traffic I even don't know why I think in Israel that is that is why there is that small traffic but uh, I love this road. Nairobi is a bit congested. It's not like uh, Kwanza Wale, those who are in Maju, those who are in US, guys, please. Nairobi, Kenya is not like that place. You know, I always see you guys with a lot of space. Ata Munavaa Munagawa, like Kenyans, half of the Kenyans to come to US. Because you guys, you have sufficient space. As we don't have space, look. The place is totally congested. Look at the houses. Eh? There, there is no even a space for you to kukumua, that is for you to to breathe. <laughs> there is no space for you to breathe. Businesses are just on alongside the road. So right now I'm heading to Angani. You can see what is happening in Pangani. It's a very, very congested place also. Pangani is just near town. It's just near town. So as I speak, I'm not far from town. From town, uh, town is a bit congested. Look at the kind of buildings that are being built here. So that's why I'm saying in Nairobi, Nairobi is a bit con concentrated. Kenya, I think we are in a population is 49 million. Uh, and you can imagine from the time census was done to date, I'm very sure we've handed another one million because I'm very sure like a million kids have been born since then. So let's talk of like 50 million, huh? 50 million people in Kenya. And you know how small Kenya is. Kenya is a bit small, but um, we are trying to cope. The economy currently is too bad. It's too bad in Kenya. Everything is too expensive. Those who are trying to go to the supermarkets to do some shopping, guys, you can bear me witness that Kenya is now, is now, is now getting bad. Actually, the status of Kenya today is very bad. The economy status is very, very bad. But uh, just like I always say, life must continue. So this is Pangani. This is Pangani. It's just uh, at the side of Nairobi town. That is at the side of CBD. Now, I'm ending towards Karyoko. 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 So, kama usha iskia Karyoko, unasikia ka watu wakisema, you know, mimi nilikuwa Karyoko, so I'm ending towards there. If you've never seen Karyoko, unasikia ka tu Karyoko, Karyoko, Karyoko. So, please watch this video. It's for you. You're gonna see Karyoko. I'll not be going inside Karyoko, but I'll be taking a video just once the round to answer the Lord. But I 
country still have a rough estimate of how it looks, at least to Taona. Utakuwa na some rough ideas, but this is how Karioko looks like. Another very congested place, another very congested place. But as long as you are feeding and you are eating and you are sleeping, everybody gets a shelter at night. Then you should not complain. What you need to pray God is to give us good health so that we are able to work hard while we are here in Nairobi. Here in Numbaza County, Starehe. Yeah, so this is Karyako, Karyako, Karyako. You can see what is being sold alongside the road. A lot of matangis. A lot, a lot, a lot of containers. That is water containers. So this is how Kariako looks like. On the other side that you are not able to see, it's uh, those Maasai, Maasai things that are being sold there. But look at this. Oh, nice the plastic exotic guys. Look at all those Sinauzwa. So maybe if you have so many plastics in your house and you're wondering, where can I take these plastics? You can bring them to the combat. And maybe you can get somebody uh, where you can, somewhere where you can dispose them by maybe selling to somebody. I tend to believe that those things are being sold. So don't throw them. Don't throw those plastics. Once you throw them, somebody else comes. Look at these people. When I dare to go barabara the way they want, life must continue. That is my slogan. Life must continue. So uh, now I'm heading towards Kamukoji. That was Gikomba. It's a very small area, not a very huge area. So Kiskia Kariyako, Kariyako, Kariyako. Please don't think that it's a very big place uh, or rather a very big area, but uh, it's a very small area. This Mikokoten is you can do. You know, this place is a business place. Our wanna be fit Mizigo. Mizigo. Somehow they're getting Mizigos from here. Um, Marigiti. Marigiti is where you buy all your groceries. It's a very cheap price. It's just very near from here. Actually, it's just some few. Feel, it's like a kilometer. Is it even a kilometer to, from here? So we have a musikiti here. This is Kamukuji. So if you want to go to Kamukuji, this is where, guys, you come. So all this mikokoten is unaona. Wamekuwa kibeba these groceries for people who sell. You can see like these ones are nyanyas. Uh, yeah, so they, they, they just go to Marikiti to help people to carry those groceries. And um, Mothurwa is just here, guys. Mali Niko, if you cross the road, the wall that you land to is Utarantikwa uh, wall ya Mothurwa. So if you've never been to Mothurwa, where I'm standing right now, because now I'm taking the road, Nataka Kutaremuka Nianze Pingea Kamukuji, but okay, cross to straight Barabara, you land to the wall of, uh, of uh, what? Of Mudurua. Where I'm pointing at the moment, guys, that is um, Gekomba. If you go straight the way I'm going to now, because I want to leave this street, your Jane and are too straight. You see where that KDD is going? You will land to Gekomba. You see, you land to Gekomba, but I'm not going to Gekomba at the moment. I want to go to once industry. So this is Kamukoji. What about you are Western? This is where, guys, you come for. Panda Magari, Zilens, and Western. In Itangwa, country bus, yes, country bus. So this is country bus. Uh, on the other side of country bus is where we have Mudurua. That wall is for Mudurua. So if you've never been to Nairobi, in Akira Wakati, Unaskianga country bus, this is how country bus looks like. Uko Dani, Kuna Masoko, Kuna Mabasi, Zilens, and Western. So that is where you take your you take your what your buses to western those who live in western or those who want to go to visit western but remember like i said on the other hand on the other side of the road is the wall of muthurwa muthurwa is a market it's a very huge market for second hand high times and also we have groceries some people do groceries but main people major people most of the people they do sell second hand uh, items. So if you are a Mutumba person, Mutumba man, eh? You can join Mutumba man to Mothurwa. That's where you can get nice, nice. By the way, Mothurwa, you can get so nice things. Like all my towels that I use, 
at a very cheap price I get them from Mudura. I've not been to Mudura for some time now. I think for the last like uh, five, six years I've not gone to Mudura. From the time I left my company, those who have watched my career journey, I used to work, I started working with Unga Group and so I used to cross through that Mudura on a daily basis. So now after I left Unga, I've not been able to go back to Mudura. So I don't know how Mudura looks like now. And maybe one day I will do a video walking through Mudura so that you can see. Then this is Kamukunji. Kamukunji is where all these, you know as if it was a chuma chuma, these juwakari things. This is where juwakari things are being made. Masanduku zile za shule, jikos, everything else. It is all uh, here. This is uh, Kamukunji. Kamukunji, you will get all sort of juwakari things. Like, um, let's talk of jikos. Let's talk of, uh, of uh, masanduku zile za chuma. All those things about chuma chuma. This is where people came to sell their chuma things, you know. These of it was Anjuakari, you understand them, what I say. So you can get them here. Mukiangaria munaona, orendi zimepangwa kwa barabara, masanduku, masuburia, makarai, all those sorts of uh, chuma chuma things, you see? Ona hizo masanduku. So this is Kamukunji. This is, if you want to buy sanduku, kama zile za shule. Like when you come here in January, when kids are going to school, are joining for months, you will find a lot, a lot of masanduku zizo. Uh, trolleys, those who want to buy trolleys, wheelbarrows. You, if you want to use it in these trolleys, akuzia, mayai, and everything else, you can see what is happening here in Chuakari. You can get all those things here in Chuakari. So where I'm going now, uh, I want to go uh, to read the Chuakari, the business area, so that now I can join the road that has a lot of companies. I will be showing you some few companies. I don't know. We don't have uh, many companies alongside here, but I'll show you, I'll show you some few. Um, so the road that I want to take now, going to DTW, uh, going to Enterprise Road. Is it Enterprise? Yes. And towards Commercial Street. Okay, different companies are found here. You can see that is ASL. And other small, small companies. You can... Yeah, this area is mostly for the companies. Most of these areas is mostly for the companies. So, um, these are mostly the resellers. These are mostly the resellers. Because right now, Ninaenda Kuwata Ile Dia, the Enterprise Road, you know, um, Enterprise Road carries a lot of companies. Going to Enterprise Road, going to Mungarunga, that is where you can get a lot of companies. That's where you can get a lot of companies. This is, uh, I don't want to go towards Rusaka Road. I just want to leave Rusaka Road. I just go to Commercial Street because where I'm going is towards Commercial Street. At Commercial Street, if you've never gone to DTW, where I am right now, the building that you can see right now is DTW. When you are change Gina, by the way, Sifau. Eh? It looks like, oh, it was changed to Sifau. I, I was not aware. This was DTW. On this other side, we have the police houses because we have industrial police station just uh, around here. Then this building now, you know you're building your white. This is National Cities Book, NCPB. Come on, ask younger about NCPB. This is where NCPB is. So the building that I'm on the other side of uh, NCPB, we have the big, big company that is very well known as Unilever Kenya, guys. You will not be able to see it, but let me see whether Nikisha and Zakuinkia Hapa you'll be able to see the Unilever. But I will try to show you by the way, it's a very big company. And uh, on the opposite side of Unilever, guys, uh, let me try to show you. So you see this warehouse, the warehouse that I'm showing you right now, it is for the Unilever Kenya. So guys, if you don't know Unilever, this is the Unilever. It is one of the biggest, uh, one of the largest, the biggest uh, companies that is very well known in Kenya. And you can see this is, all this is their warehouse. It's big, it's big. You can see the Roikos there, you can see 
how big it is guys that is their warehouse you can see let me just show you well 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 look at that guys yoyote blue na this color is red ama ni color pink i don't know which color bako komwisho that is unilever's warehouse you can be see how big it is on this other side of unilever this is gano house you can see those are silos for unga that is the the office these are their offices for unga that is unga group um it's called gano house so if you've never been to this place guys this is how where these two big companies are and uh, so if you move back out mwisho unaona mwisho wa hii barabara that is where the gate of unilever is let me try to zoom yes you see that is where the gate of unilever is so you can see it well uh thank you i've zoomed and it's like it's here so those who have never been to unilever that is how unilever looks like it's so amazing it's so amazing guys where i go i want to go in um Bunga group because that's where i have a meeting so thank you so much for watching this video i am sure now you know at a, you have a rough idea of how this place looks like it's a very beautiful place and um maybe next time i will do another video maybe coming up with something else uh, so that you can know Nairobi well so thank you my dear people